As Breast Cancer Awareness Month continues, Tina has an expert standing by with some tips on how to approach a diagnosis and treatment with strength. Tina? According to the American Breast Cancer Society, the chance of a woman having invasive breast cancer in her lifetime is one in eight. Knowing what to do when faced with diagnosis is imperative for every woman. And for women diagnosed with early stage breast cancer, it can be very overwhelming. There are many options to consider. So to kick off Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we are turning to Chief of Breast Surgery, Director of the Comprehensive Breast Center at Staten Island University Hospital and the BC5 Project. Dr. Sonara Coomer with her. We also have her patient, Celia Duffy. Both ladies are here to provide us with advice for women. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. And we're hearing that statistic, doctor, that one in eight, that is really, really shocking. It is shocking, but Tina, many of them will be diagnosed at an early stage, and that's what we want women to understand, is when you are diagnosed at an early stage, there are many treatment options, um, which is the purpose of the BC5 project, to educate and to make women aware of what their treatment options will be if they are diagnosed with breast cancer. And tell me a little bit about, uh, we were talking about the BC5 project, and tell me a little bit about the brachytherapy as well, which may be something that people are not aware of. No, and we are highlighting br the brachytherapy because we want because it is an underutilized treatment option. Essentially, it's a five-day treatment that's a targeted dose of radiation that's given within the breast tissues. So, as opposed to whole breast radiation, which we've traditionally done, which is six weeks of treatment, there is also with the whole breast radiation exposure to the skin and to the chest wall. So we see some skin changes. In addition to that, women may feel fatigued towards the end of their six weeks of radiation treatment. We don't see any of those side effects with the five-day. Uh, targeted radiation treatments and in addition to that because it is only five days women can get back to work and their family and friends um, obviously much much more quickly and with with less uh, with and with no fatigue essentially and that early the BC5 project actually surveyed that women do rely on their doctors recommendations and only 7% of women or actually fewer than 7% of women were actually told about brachytherapy and of the women that were surveyed that would have been candidates for brachytherapy, 76% of them said they would have liked to have known more about this treatment option. So that's why we want to highlight this and to, to make women aware of, the, of this treatment option um, so that they can discuss it with their physicians. And Celia, you know uh, personally how that feels to uh, uh, go through this and have a lot of options available to you. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, I was, um, I had surgery in uh, June and a month later I received the um, brachytherapy treatment. Uh, it was one week treatment, um, uh, treatments uh, twice a day for five days and uh, I had no side effects, I had uh, no pain to speak of and it was fine for me. And so other women that may be give, giving this diagnosis, of course, that's just overwhelming in itself. Having these resources available to them and, and the knowledge uh, helps along the way. Yes. They, um, they should do their research and uh, find out all their options and uh, their physician will um, advise them on what they can use. And now, doctor, if we want to get more Tina, information on the project or the therapy, where can we get that? Um, you can get that at the website, bc5project.com. Thank you, ladies, so much. Again, we're kicking off Breast Cancer Awareness Month today with both of you, and I want to thank you so much for doing that for us. Thank you, Tina. Thank you. And now, don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.